online learning came along, I initially kind of despaired. You know, I initially thought, there's, you know, what can I possibly do that will, that will be of, of value to these students? What I decided to do was to keep my field trip schedule more or less as planned, but to go out into the field and film videos and take still photographs. And so the Ecology and Evolution uh, lab coordinator is Travis Morgan. And Travis uh, has been very enthusiastic about going out in the field and filming me. Okay, so uh, we're gonna start walking around now and looking for, looking for specimens, looking for interesting uh, ecological phenomena and filming them. On your species list. I enjoy how he's not just like in the classroom describing like the places that we're supposed to be going on the field trip. He goes to the places and he brings us he brings us with him and so like I appreciate that a lot too because I'm still getting to like observe the landscape and analyze it on my own. I'm trying to show as much as I can in the videos and give a little bit of description that I feel like I need to give. Ask them some leading questions the same way I would ask in the field. You know, I'll expose students to a variety of different ecosystems, um, get them thinking about um, the ecological processes that we talked about in class, and hopefully get them thinking about how they can interpret what they observed in light of those processes. Okay, now we're up here on the top of the dune. Uh, and this is, this, is a, this is a really nice view up here. If you look, it is cool to kind of like walk through these landscapes and see that see them how he would see it and he's also really funny and like adds a lot of like small jokes um throughout the course of the field trip so that's been that's been fun to watch like the videos are entertaining and they're never really boring i have students do a lot of illustration in that class because is it really forces students to observe really closely so i'm still going to have them do illustrations that are presumably gonna be based, you know, on a combination of the videos and the still photos that I provide. This one is a sagebrush. I put little notes next to it so people know what they're looking at, just in case. <laughs> and then this is the classic juniper tree that he was showing on his video. This is another uh, case where it'd be really great if you were here and could and could smell this. Cause you Whether in normal times or in weird times like this, I hope getting exposed to this information does lead them to spend more time uh, more time outside exploring and that they actually have the ability to, to draw conclusions about what they're seeing.